Hey guys, welcome back. Anyway, so we have quite a bit to do today. Actually, not quite a lot. Um, we were going to try to get two events today, but all you're going to see today is Am's uh, rival event and this thing. <laughs> I'm the princess of this kingdom. Today, it seems to me that things are more lively outside. When I went to see why, crowds cheered our returning hero. His latest adventure apparently involved going to slay a demon lord in a land north of us. That's kind of rude. Well, I guess if he's a demon lord, I don't know. I wish someone as mighty as this hero could be my husband. I need only wed this noble hero to make my wish come true. A hero who slew a demon lord could hardly be unsuitable to anyone. I'm certain that I will be congratulated by one and all. Why? He's the one who slew the dragon. You're the one who, I don't know, married him. Oh well, I guess if it's a match made in heaven, whatever. Anyway, so this is one of my favorite shows on the Variety Channel. The Variety Channel is the one on the left. And it's just, it's like a soap opera. Anyway, sorry about the little transition. I messed up a little bit my first time around, so... And the movie was just too long for me to do it without doing it in two parts, and it just takes forever to upload a video onto YouTube, so... I just cut out that whole portion of my work. Uh, what normally... What you can normally do before you mess something up is you save before it happens, or you start the whole day all over again, like I did! Ah oh, ha ha ha! So, yeah, just watering my plants. I don't know, I always found this portion of my farm work to be very calming, very therapeutic. I mean, I know it's all ones and zeros and stuff, but I like it. And it's always fun to watch all the little... Because when you watch your plants grow, it's almost like watching a, an event in and of itself, because they are constantly changing. I don't know, I always liked it. So let's see, those are your potatoes up in the north. They should be growing in soon. By the 11th, they should come in. And like I said, you'll want to save them if you can. Only if you can. And that probably won't happen until, again, we get everything all upgraded and stuff. So we finally got the brush yesterday, so we're going to brush our horsey. He's so cute. Look at this. Um, ah, there we are. I'm just going to give him a bit more room today. And that's the other thing I wanted to do today is to give um, my chickens a bit more, maybe not a more room. But I definitely want to fix up the pens, so this way you don't have to include the weeds. The weeds are only there if you don't have the time to bother with rocks and stuff. Okay, so see what happened last time that I messed up so horribly on is that I forgot that I had the gold ore in my pocket. <laughs> and I dropped it on accident, trying to move the rocks around, so it's my own fault. And you can save it, of course, if you drop something, if you want to start everything all over again. But if it's really not worth it, then just don't do it. Let's see, so... Fixing the pen. Today we're going to try and uh, get more chickens. And I'm not saying that we're going to buy some more. God, no, we still need to save up for our upgrade. That's our next big purchase. Um, I really don't want to have to worry about the... The, um... Uh, the basket just yet. Normally I would go for the basket first and then the big house, but since I can't rely on the what's it, the lottery like I normally do, <laughs> um, then I'm just gonna go ahead and get the thing because I also want to focus more on cooking this time around as well. And we it still won't be enough for us to get to the cooking festival or I think we may be able to participate if we do it quick enough, but I doubt it. I honestly doubt it. Anyway, this is when I decided that it would be more prudent to get more chickens. And chickens take three days to hatch, and then about three or four more until they grow up again. So it'll be a week before we do anything. I'm going fishing for Anne. And Anne loves fish for some reason, but um, normally when people say that they like fish, it's normally mediums or larges, and you can't get mediums until you get at least a copper level. And the fishing pole is actually really hard to physically upgrade. Anyway, so this is Harris. This is the mayor's son, actually. Look at them. They don't look anything alike. He's like almost a pencil. He's the policeman of the area, and then this is Gots. You go to him to... Yeah, he's a carpenter. You go to him to upgrade your houses, your barns, your um, chicken coop, 
And then sometimes you can even um, remodel your house. It doesn't really do much other than, you know, make it look pretty. And then you can also remodel your doghouse if you want to. But it's like 25,000 to get it done, so... Seriously, it's 25,000 gold just to remodel your dog's house, and it's stupid, so I'm not going to do it this time around. Eventually, you do... Wait a minute. Oh, it's her birthday! I totally spaced on that. Um, the 8th of spring is always her birthday, so... Make sure to give her something when that happens, I guess. We have three more days until we get the power berry! Ah uh -huh. Um... So yeah, we're going to do a little bit of gift giving. We aren't going to really talk to uh, Rick today. Because we really, really, really have to focus on Cliff at this point. We have to make Cliff and Anne happy. And I want to try and be as good of friends with Anne as possible this time around. You don't really get anything out of it. I think you may or may not get a recipe out of it. But for the most part, she's, she's just kind of there to talk to, I guess. In the later ones, it's always prudent to get all the rival girls or guys to be friends with you because they give you gifts later on as if you were their, you know... Oh, the poultry farm is closed on Sundays, by the way. I totally spaced on that, too. But I was going to give the honey to Lilia because, like I said before, when you marry the man, you marry her mom. His mom. His mom. His mom. His mom. Uh, don't give it to Popery. Give it to one of these ladies. They all love the honey. Um, I'm going to give it to Anna because... Later on, if you befriend Anna, then she'll teach you a couple recipes. You don't really have to, but it's mostly just for the value of the event. She teaches you how to bake certain things, cookies, cakes, and I think a pudding at some point. So, we're going to go ahead and talk to Juan. I'm, again, I'm not entirely sure how long it takes before you befriend him, but, you know, you do what you must for the money. Do what you must, 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 must. Oh well. It's still okay. Do your best to ship. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna take a while before you're even close to being friends with everybody. And it took me until my fall year before I was actually stable enough to be able to be friends with everybody. Um, in my regular game, when I could win the lottery. Um, why am I not doing cheats, you may ask? I don't approve of the cheat system. I mean, yeah, I would totally do it if you guys weren't watching, but you guys are here to watch and learn how you would succeed without the help of cheats. I would like to assume. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't... You don't need to use the cheats. There's really no purpose for it. You just play the game. Because once you get all the money, trust me, it just kind of loses its... It's value. It's fun value. Yeah, she didn't like the small one. She just kind of takes it like, yep, okay. Thank you for that. Bitch. I don't know. So you can just keep giving them to her, I guess. It's basically like giving her a flower or something like that. It's not that bad, but you know, she doesn't particularly like it. She doesn't particularly dislike it, but she still doesn't like, like it like it. Anyway, Harris making his rounds. He'll do that in the in the rain as well so if you really want to befriend him then you can do that as well he has a crush on Duke and Mana's daughter who is um oh sorry I was checking to see what I had in my rucksack I totally spaced on the other grasses anyway so what I um mean is that he has a crush on Aja who is Duke and Mana's daughter she moved off to be a racer of some sort at least that's what was explained in the Back to Nature for Girls, at least. Um, you later see an event where he comes to you and says, Hi, I want to propose to her, or some such. He wants to confess to her, and he wants to know if he should do it or not. Send her a letter and whatnot. And you're supposed to say, Yeah, of course, go, do it. Be a man, get it done. And later on he comes back and says, Yeah, she had a boyfriend. I mean, I feel better that, you know, you told me to be a man and do it, and I guess it's... I can be happy for her and get over it. I don't know. I guess that is a very gentlemanly thing to do. I'm not sure how willing most people are we're willing to do that kind of deal. Anyway, so I'm back in the mine, so I will see you guys later. Here is another amusing picture by me.
Right, I probably shouldn't have said that was by me, huh? Yeah, that, um, I found that on DeviantArt somewhere, I believe. Um, just to clarify, I'm a horrible artist, so, um, the pictures that you see are just from my library of awesome pictures that I happen to have. Anyway, so I got an extra little gold piece so we can sell, so don't freak out. We're gonna keep one just for ourselves. Um, it won't rake us very much profit. It'll give us 30 extra G, I believe, so it's not too bad. So let's bring our chicken in. We There's really no danger of them actually, you know, not producing egg for us tonight. So we're gonna hurry, hurry, hurry to the inn so we can finally witness Anne's, um... Rival event. Her heart event. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I would have cringed if I ever saw this before, but today, today I'm actually going to work for it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the inn normally closes at about 9 o'clock, so in order to see this, you have to go anywhere between 8 and eight, um, 9 o'clock. So. Oh, my name's Basil. That's uh, Mary's dad. And then this is, of course, Gray's grandfather. Um. He's obviously not the token old man, but he's the token gruff old man. Why are you drinking with Karen, you cheating asshole? <laughs> well, then again, he's not really cheating on me because, you know, we're not even friends at this point. So, once we go upstairs, the event will begin. This is Duke. I forgot you needed to befriend him, too, in order to get Cliff to stay, so... Huh? That's ha or huh? Uh. Chance to talk, I guess. See a guy like this, I don't even remember why I liked him anymore. He's I mean it's not even that he's rude, I get that he's shy, but he's not exactly a very huggable character. Well he looks like a huggable character. Wait a minute. Do you guys notice something about Cliff? The unpluckable eyebrows, the scruffy hair, it's almost so long that it's not even funny. He looks like a younger version of Gots. Doesn't he? Like a younger, fatter, er, fatter, thinner version of Gots. Look at him, he doesn't even talk. Oh, well, I guess it gives you some... It doesn't really give you much hope, because that usually means that Anne's gonna die. Um... In an event that we'll probably see next week, we failed to see it this earlier this morning, which is why we went to God's place to begin with. 